The, the history of, of my operation and the start of everything happened back with my great-great-grandfather who left Germany in 1852. My father was very conscientious of, about, about conservation and the natural resources. He built the first set of terraces in the county. He got interested in the no-till or was open-minded enough to try no-till back in the 70s. We both grew up on farms and we both grew up with parents that lived through the Depression and the idea was that you took care of everything you had, you know, and you, you know, and whatever you did have, you protected and you wanted to make last or make do and it's kind of like conservation really kind of fits hand in glove with that. We got married in 1975 and resided here. We started out with 100 acres that I bought off my dad, and that's basically how we got started. And it has developed over the last 47 years into, you know, we farm approximately 1,400 acres of cropland. I've got a couple of hundred acres in the CRP, and, and that's where we are today. Conservation practices that we have in place here are, are pretty varied. We do have, you know, a lot of no-till. We've got a lot of native prairie plants. We've got grass waterways, riparian borders for, you know, for wildlife. We've got a lot of food plots for wildlife. My favorite place is probably at the new cabin that we're working on building because I can walk out there and fish. I remember growing up when I was a small kid, we had a small pond and my, do and my dad built a little dock outside of it where we fish off of it and swim off of it. So I've always been intrigued with water. And so uh, I surveyed my first pond out. I knew there was, there was potential there to make a lake. And then once I made that one, I saw other, other possibilities. And uh, I planted trees and I think you need to do that early in your life so you can benefit from the beauty. It just kind of keeps feeding on itself, you know. Well, I, I, like, I want food plots. I, I, I want to provide, you know, shelter, you know, for, for the wildlife. And so it just, it, it grows on you. I just have a passion for that. By implementing the, the practices, I just think the operations become more productive. You know, I think there's less fuel costs involved because there's less going over it. I do think we protect the soil because we don't have the dust and water and wind erosion that we would if the soil was, you know, was farmed with traditional methods. And I think the soil structures are developed so we have, you know, worms and some other things that, you know, that um, in, enhance the drainage in the soil and just enhance it overall. I've learned that you've got to really work and listen to do it right and make it be good. And you got to put a lot of work into it. My biggest why when it comes to conservation is why not? Why not? I mean, every, everyone needs to do their part and to preserve the a natural resource of the soil and water and by providing food, shelter, and water for wildlife, I mean, it's, why, why not do that? You can, you can maintain your production, you're using less fuel, less labor, less equipment. To me, it, it's, it's the only way to go. Our passion is to, is to leave the, you know, to leave the land better than what we found it. And I think the next generation of kids or young people coming up hopefully we'll inherit something that, you know, is maybe better than it was when we received it. So I think that's what kind of keeps you going.